Bull is raging tonight. He might have lost some time right there. Look at him. Oh, oh, oh he doubled it. Whoa, oh, we got a big problem for the executioner. And that is a beautiful. Oh, standing on the nose. Uh, right, oh, right up and down. Beautiful. Oh, it's up. Oh, oh look out, look out, look out. Oh, and Roy Fisher took her over on her side. Can you believe that? Rattled the rafters. I think we have had an upset. Well, it's been outside, there's no doubt. Oh, oh they went to Creel. And a boy. Does it control? Well, look at the right front tire. The right, right front tire it's is right off the rim. Greg Hosmer. Oh! Stood it up there. Got it on his nose. Well, he might... Oh, man! Standing up there! Down mash it. Uh, that's costing him for big right, right front. front tire's gone. Yeah. Right front tire is gone. Watch this guy run, Ralph. This could be the man to beat. See if he stops as well. Oh, look at that. I can't believe the front end stays together when they do that. Mash the motor. Oh! And the tire didn't blow out. I'm amazed. My heavens, is this guy aggressive? Look at him run tonight. He is hard on the throttle. Boy, he's giving those front axles a workout! And a boy! I thought he was going to stick his arm out and get him to turn it over. If you don't like that run, you're not going to love pro arena trucks. I think the big tire is probably hurting him a little bit on this course. I think you'd like to see him a little smaller in diameter. Cool, boy, that's a good ride. And most of all, the tires need to be cut when he lands. Let's see how he comes off this last jump. Making the sweep for the... Oh, he stands it up! Just a little Keeps bit. Keeps it going! You know what? He didn't bother at all. What's this, Ralph? He's just on the throttle. A touch too much. Up in the air now. It's going to nose right over. The tires collapse. Bounce. Look at him steering while it's on its nose. Troy Day. He's in reverse, the first time we've seen that all season. Well, and he got off the course. He may have problems on the right front tire, Ralph. That was weird. Troy can't get lined up. He swung too wide, and there was too much on the throttle. Look at the air under that. Oh, oh, boy! There you go, Troy! Well, he bonsai the finish line, and the crowd absolutely loves it. If you can't win, at least be spectacular. And look at, he's got everything coming off of the truck. Way to go, Troy Day. Here we go, we hope you're enjoying it with us. The finale for King of the Hill. The Snake wins the drag racing portion. Now. Oh boy, what a great way to close out this season. This snake stands to strike, but just like the Cobra, look at that. It comes up ready to strike, sky heavy on the throttle. Mike, not only did he lift the front end, but the back end of the truck, by the time it got over the jump, was 10 feet in the air. Look at this, Ralph. Look that, at that. He was flying over the stadium. Jim Hopkins from Missouri. Watch Ralph. This guy is down here with a good friend, and, and this truck runs well. We had some problems earlier, but the weather's great down here. The temperature's good. Ralph, he is definitely going for it, and we may really see the lead change. Well, Steve Hopkins had quick time earlier in his Bronco. Let's see what great Jim Hopkins time. can do. He's going to go to the 25 mark. Did he go to the 25 mark? 25.77. I like it. Boy, would this be an upset. And it is close. Now, Morris is excellent on turns. He is so good on turns. Look at Dan Rutzak. You're riding with the big blue. Boy, he's spectacular oh, he's... on the turn. Wow. Not wanting to stop, but it does. Dan Rutzak beat him on the turn. There it is. The Dragon ready to slay the equalizers. Run away with the obstacle course.
race final. Boy, it, equalizer is out by about a half a truck at the, that line. David Morris is just really doing a great job. Now probably a full truck lead. This looks like a Davis Port. David Morris. Oh, oh, he died. Oh. The truck stalled. Equalizer had him in the gun sights. Mikey had him dead to rights. Oh, look, Ralph, look. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got smoke coming out of the bulldozer. Jim Hopkins in his Bronco. Does he lower it or does he uh, slow down? Slows down just a touch. He's trying to lower it, though, isn't he? Definitely doing that. And that could cost him. He might overdrive it this time. So far, he hasn't done anything that make it around the course in great style. He looks wonderful. He looks great. 20-94. He lowered it. Hopkins, 20-94. Get the thumbs up and ready to go. There it is. Uh, you call that one because that was tight. Well, I'm going to. I'm going to call that a very good race. Folks, see if you can see this was close. Well, he leads, the bull leads. Man, oh man, oh. He's got to knock off six tenths, Mike. I don't think that'll be a problem. He could be the spoiler between these two guys that are battling between themselves. He keeps the truck on the ground, he keeps it tight in the curves, hard on the throttle. He very well may just uh, change his whole complexion. Nice run so far, only 14 seconds. He is coming real close. He's gonna beat the time. Here comes Greg Hosman. 20, 35, he annihilated it. Yeah, he could, he, I knew it could be a spoiler. I've seen the truck run. It's set up for the, the desert type racing and it's a great job. He's got him though at the first turn. It is Hartley, he has got the lead across the first set of cars. It is still snake bite. Mike, he's doing it. Ah, uh, you're gonna have to hold on. Huge upset, Sky Hartley and the Snake Bite have just beaten Bigfoot and Dan Runty. Dale Wilson's a good driver. He is quick on the line. It's foot. That didn't take long. It's foot. Bigfoot gets the win. Bigfoot will be crowned king of the hill. They came here looking to do that, and they have accomplished their goal. Here we go, finals of the obstacle course. It's gonna be a good one. Oh, look at Sky go. Look at that, oh, they got, he's, Executioner is out on the front of him. Executioner, can he do this? He's gonna get him. The equalizer is gonna put it to him. Unbelievable. Ralph, is it possible he's safe the best for last? Watch the turn here, the final turn. This guy gets it on his nose a little bit. That hurts him when the truck has to wait on the truck to set down. He doesn't get around the curve quite like he should, but look at this. Two truck links out in front of him. Rory Fisher, track number 13. Oh, Rory has got a great run headed. Come on, Rory. Air that Toyota out. 1984 SR5, the stock four cylinder. Look at this. Oh, he is, and I, I tell you what, if he can get around the turn, hammer hard on the straightaway, he's got this thing, a big time lead on it. How about that? 28-68. Joe Brozovich. Roy will be standing and watching very close. This is one of the finest young men you'll ever want to meet anywhere. He is so America that it's unbelievable. Last weekend, the truck missed it. He found out that he put a new hood on it and uh, it had a brace that wore a hole in the distributor cap, and there's where the mist came from. He told me I took the torch and straightened that out. Hurry. He's blistering this track, Ralph. I mean, just spanking it. Well, he's going to be driving aggressive. He knows what he's got to shoot for. 28-68. Boy, he flew it there. Got some magic air and a hard turn to quit on it. Just bowed a little bit, but look. We got a new leader atop the board, 27-98. I, you know, that Toyota, I get tired of seeing it every time, and uh, I've been beat by it too many times. And I got tired of Roy saying, uh, it's only a stock four-cylinder, it's only a stock four-cylinder. 28.68 was what Rory Fisher ran in round number one. He's shooting for the 27.98. Can he get it? It'll be real difficult. I thought he was pretty much maxed out the first time around, but he was giving it.
his very, very best shot. Remember, Ralph, if he doesn't, his best of two times will stand for the evening. Big jump. He's hooked up. And at 23, now go. Come on, Viola Kenny. He did yes, it. Yes, yes. 27 87 by a tenth of a second. Rory Fisher has unseated Brozovich at the top of the heat. Yeah, all right. I beat that Bronco. There's for Joe. How was the run? It was rough. It was real rough. But, but it was good enough, I guess. Of course, Joe ain't run yet. Brozovich brings out the Bronco. 27 98. Knocked down. He's going to have to pick up two tenths of a second. Can he do it, Ralph? He's going to give it his all. Don't go too deep into that turn. He went in deep there. He might have lost some time right there. Look at him. Oh, no, he doubled it. He Never doubled seen it done before. The motorcycles just barely did it. Unbelievable. I can't uh, still am amazed. Look at the time. Go at the for time. It. This He's guy got ripped it. it. He did it. 25 to 80. He Two it. seconds. Oh, is he happy? Broza picks up two full seconds and absolutely deflates <laughs> Rory Fisher. Listen to this crowd. Woo. I'll tell you, Rory, he put, I, I was in the back and seen he put down a good run. See what I mean about that guy? Just can't get away from him. Watching go to work, the executioner up on two wheels. Bigfoot in the lead, Bigfoot's there right this moment. The Holes have got to really get on the throttle. He's in trouble, it is, it is, Bigfoot. Oh, look out, look uh -oh. out. Oh, he was in trouble trying to outrun the blue truck. Here he goes. Oh, oh, Ralph, he is going to try. He's trying to take three seconds off of it. Look how hard he's pushing this truck. Well, he's got to, Mike. He has really got to work this thing hard. He's got to be smooth, but he's got to be aggressive. Look at how deep he goes into that turn. Then riding in that truck with that video camera, it's kind of making me a little woozy. Look at that. Now, this is where he's got to get on it and get on it hard. He's going to really improve his time, Ralph. He really needs on the throttle. He needs to really get it. Oh, he improved on the time, but he is short. Not a happy camper. 10,000 pound truck, see what happened to him? He's in trouble, big trouble when he got on his floor and got the starting line. Oh, he's up on two wheels. Tires cut good coming off that jump route. Let's take a ride. Oh, that looks good. Now swing hard to that over the little one single car. You got to come in and really stand on it. Try to get some air there. Jump on the brakes. Just get over the one hump. Now hard left. And then you got to go for the big one. Hey, we got oh, a he's way off to the left, Ralph. Up next, Jeff Wendt as you go on board with him in his big Jeep. Well, Jeff has changed all of the suspension on the truck. And uh, with the help of Paul, Brian, Dean, and Mike, and I want to say hello to Kim, his daughter, who stayed home to study for a test. The son said, I'm coming. I don't care what's happening. V8 Chevrolet in the Jeep. Let's see how it works tonight. Oh, it rolls over. Oh, it didn't work well. And we went along for the ride. Paul, Brian, Dean, and Kim, he's OK. Well, we got more work for you when we get it back to back home to Minnesota. Look at that. You're upside down. Feel the blood rushing to your head? I know, but I think I think, should. Be careful when you undo the belts. We're going to go on board with all those horsepowers and the big horns. Look, what's he doing inside the cockpit? He's, he's working on his rear steering. He's operating the rear steering. It operates off of a lever down on the bottom of it. He's, he's finessing it around the corner. Now he's got his hands back on it. Goes to the rear steering again. Watch him. Now this brings the back of it around. It's electrical control through hydraulic. Now he just has to stand on the motor up over the cars, about five cars. Look how soft that landing was. Here he goes. We right. go on board with it. Riding with Joe. Now, I know Joe learned something. Right here, look at it. Well, he struggled there, Mike. He did struggle. He's trying to set up for that one. Oh, man, that made your stomach jump up. I guarantee you, he's going for the double. Yeah, oh, yeah, he'll go for the double if it's running right. Sounds good to me. He's hard on the throttle. No! Oh, it didn't do it. Unbelievable. I thought that was a for sure. We're on board with this. 
We are on board. He says this is a stock truck. He says it is stock. He will beat it to death. Look at his Look hands. Look at him fighting to keep the hands on the steering wheel. Just everything he can do to hold on it. And he hasn't let up. He's not looking back. He's just going for it all the way around. Just keep I mean, it looks like to me you've got a big challenge just holding on to the steering wheel. Look at this jump. This that that big stopped. object you see flying into the screen every now and then is his head. That's Remember, there's no five-point harnesses in these trucks, just your average seatbelt. And look, look at this, 30.71. And you hear him. He's excited. Listen to Rory inside yelling. You bet, Rory, you've got the quick time. That little Toyota has put it to the big American iron here so far tonight. Wow! Now, I also understand there are two different kinds of dirt. There is car racing dirt, and there is rodeo dirt. And here in Beaumont, we have rodeo dirt. What's the difference, Professor? Well, that, that's true. This is rodeo dirt. It has fertile compaction in it, Ralph. Aha. Uh -huh. Only the way a professor could describe it. Randy, Katie. I like how he gets one weekend on TV and he comes back with a sponsor. How do you like that? Yeah, he's got the Napa store from Washington. Oh! God, that is great! He needed the body shop from Washington. <laughs> right into the cart for the monster truck! Well, it just hurt. A hickey on the left front, but he's okay. You know what? Galloway, you are the only person I know you ordered quiche for breakfast, and you're the only guy I know that can work in the word hickey into a racing show. <laughs> you are my hero. Look at that. Oh, this is sad. That's not sad. That is great. Oh, well, babe, the blue ox. Fly on a furrow, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> for those of us that didn't grow up on a farm, what exactly is plowing a furrow? <laughs> Making a long straight row with a plow in the ground. Ralph. Ah, That's okay. plowing a furrow. Just asking. I cannot imagine what happened to the smoke fan truck. The truck sounded like it was running. I don't know that uh, he was having a banana slurpee or what he was doing, sitting there resting or what happened, but it just didn't leave. A banana slurpee. You've never had a banana slurpee? No, but if he had one, that is exactly why his truck didn't run. Who would eat a banana Slurpee, Galloway? Galloway? Yeah, exactly. Did he have a road map? Because if he did, it got knocked off the dash. The guy got in trouble. Now, Ralph, I was talking about pro arena trucks starting in Texas, and I really think that's what happened. Only, we used to call it chasing cows. You know, you go out to the pasture, round up some cows, you go in the pickup, there'd be a few gullies, there's a few hills, the cows that try to get away from them. That's the way this start, got started. There's the smash, here comes the grill right into the, the hood. Look at the smoke come out of it. You know, it's nothing that money won't fix. No. There's the chip tooth on him. No, I do not know a bovine dentist. I know a dentist that's big as a bovine, but I don't know a bovine dentist. Watch him. Just keep hammering it down. Now the Godzilla up on top is turning around backwards, looking at the driver, thinking, what is going on here? He's close, makes a big swing. He's got to really turn it hard. He needs the oh! Can he get it? Yes, just oh, he takes out the pole. That's it. Not don't just take out the orange cone, take no. out the finish line. The finish pole. line, Bowler. You want to do it, you want to do it upright. That's it. Not one of those little two-foot orange cones. Absolutely not. 400 cubic inch Ford, 108,000 miles on it. Said it's never had the valve covers off of it. Want to set a Doug Thorley header, said it really made it run a lot better. His, he's got broken he's got parts a, hanging. There's a shock hanging off the left front of it, and it, it, it won't be there. Just can't make it. His dad bought this truck brand new. He just attacks the Ford. Says he talks to himself. Now he's, he's got a right front tire. Right down. front tire. That's not going to stop him. He will go on around. He'll, he'll twist this thing and work it till he can get it across the finish line. Had to go over some tires. And we take out the other pole. Oh, well, if one can do it, they all can do it. He's looking good. Time's not bad at all. Just do their great. He does need to go for the double, though, you know? Not just to say that. He really needs that double. That'll let uh oh uh oh Twenty-four-eight, but penalties coming your way. Did he have a roadmap? 
because if he did, it got knocked off the dash. The guy got in trouble. Levi Hahn getting ready to go here in his little Ford Bronco. That's a 72 Bronco for those of you keeping score. But watch, watch, his, watch his head and his upper body. He's really having a hard time keeping that upright and keeping the concentration on the track. Going for everything it's worth, but it, it's, it's bone jarring. Oh, that, big time here. <laughs> that's, oh, Levi. That's got to be bone jarring. The fenders are, are hanging a little wide now. And he's going to find the finish line. <laughs> Not after he about jarred himself out of that thing. Super run for the young guy from Bellevue, Colorado. He's still clean. He has absolutely no knockdown. Hines a very decent, but uh, see if he can just come on and put one together. He needs to be on the outside making a hard turn. Let's see what happened there. The 29. It was spectacular. Did he get off course? It was spectacular. He cleared those cars like the monster trucks do. They're belching flames out of the pipes on the bottom. Four-wheel drive Chevrolet. Let's see how Frank attacks this court. You can see he was parked outside today, snow in the back of the truck. Well, it's been outside. There's no doubt. Oh, oh they went to the grill. And a boy. I don't know what else. We're still trying to pick up all the pieces and identify. Well, he went over and come there. That's going to cost him five seconds. Looks like he's got something smoking out of the bottom now. Just give it the gas. It'll be all right. Boy, that thing's twisting in every direction. It doesn't have but about 50 feet to go. He's going for it, but it's, remember, oh, he took the pole off, but it has to be six, seven feet above the ground. All right, he's on his way. Right rear tire seems to be a little low and rolling under, but he's still on. Oh, oh boy. Now we found out how the defroster works on this truck. Look at the antenna flopping around. Look at the right rear tire, Ralph. I can't see it making the whole course. I love it. Ooh. I'll tell you what, the whole the whole arena vibrated when that big four hit the ground. Well, make the, the show, time. baby. Look at the time. And a boy, Scott. Out of Pueblo, here comes John Fenrod, and that tailgate's not going to last. Not going to make it there. It's well, history. I think it's gone. But what's next? The Bondo, the bumper. Here he comes. Oh, he's got a stake. Well, it doesn't make him any difference. He's still charging the track. <laughs> They're going to have to pick up this place after he gets done. I'm not real sure this truck weighs very much now. The top's coming off. Oh, man, what? <laughs> He's still going. He wants to take it for lap two. And he, you bet, John Penrod, you did a great job. This crowd is going nuts. Well, Joe Brozovich <laughs> thought Rory needed a little more horsepower, so he gave him this Acme design key, which is now mounted to the roof. <laughs> Let's hope it works a little bit better for Rory than it did for Joe earlier tonight. I bet Jamie Lee Fisher sitting home going yelling, go dad, go. Oh, oh there, there goes the key. key. And, and so the went the truck. truck. Oh, I've never seen this truck oh. quit yet, Ralph. Well, the key was for that key. It says it. All he has to do, I, I think if he can just get the truck running, we've broken enough truck, he'll be able to make the fast 15 if he can just cross the finish line. He's doing everything he can to get it going. That's not a good sign. And when you see something like that, Ralph, you got to think of the jump time. And maybe the timing chain is broken on it, or uh, the distributor is slipped. They're putting the key back in, trying to fire that up that way. Oh, that's Rosenthal up there trying to get it running with the key. <laughs> Mike's going to wind them back up, see if it helps. Bud Thomas out of Orangevale, California. Good Northern California guy, set to go. Well, he, he has hauled a long ways to race in Beaumont, Texas. Trust me, hey, you guarantee that. And he's underway. Triple A drive shaft is just flying tonight. Literally flying. Look at the air underneath that truck. If he doesn't oh. back up, give up, he's going for it, Ralph. This old Ford Bronco missing the entire front grill area. And the radiator, they've moved him to the back for a little weight transfer. He's at the 27 second mark and he goes to the straightaway. Wow, what a great run, 30-41. And he ordered a burger and fries when he pulled up. <laughs> Say hello to the crowd. Bud Thomas, up close and personal with the folks in the grandstand. Two-wheel drive, independent Ford front suspension on it. 
you've said demolition derby, it's not going to be tonight. But boy, he is really standing on it. This guy from Iowa is going to make a mark. Oh, he's going the dirt with the nose. Just keep on going. Look at the bed. I think the bed's independent, too. It's kind of going in some direction. Independent suspension on the bed, and I think that's a neat idea. He's there. He is there. Look at this. Oh, look at this. Come on. I'm telling you, the man is there. He is even the 31. Second range, and guess what? We're going to see that Tiger Strike Ford 1970 through 79 truck coming back at round number two. This little Bronco is very agile. Let's see how he gets around this cone because it's so important. He doesn't get a, oh, that's a good tight turn on that. That's beautiful. And, he, and he's back on the throttle with the Bronco. This guy can really scorch some time. You may see a new leader if you're going to try the double as he comes out of it. He just stand on it hard. Mike keep it digging. Oh, man. I know you thought it, I thought it, and I'm pretty sure he thought it. That he was going over. It was upside down. Wow. It's close right now. Watch him go to work. The executioner up on two wheels. Bigfoot in the lead. Bigfoot's there right this moment. The Halls have got to really get on the throttle. He's in trouble. It is. It is. Bigfoot. Oh, look out. Look uh -oh. out. He was in trouble trying to outrun the blue truck, and my Mark Hall just took it over. Here is the onboard camera. You're not going to see it any better than this. He's got it in trouble right there. He knows it when he does, and it rocks over on the side. Hey, great camera work right there. I don't want to be off I don't want to be the cameraman. And number 21, Randell Harlan. That's that uh, step side Ford pickup. Now it's got a full, looks like desert racing frame in the back of it. This truck is just almost brand new and they're just finding out what it can do. Every time around, they press it a little harder. 29-31 the first time. He's at 17 seconds right now, about halfway home. So it's going to be tough for him to beat it this time. Oh, look out, look out. Brand new truck rolls her over right down there. The truck works so well. Look at it. It's glued to the ground, but it, we've talked about this a couple of times before. The whoops right there in that corner, high sides him. He doesn't back out, keeps the wheels turned to the left, and that's the wrong thing to do. It goes upside down. Remember, he does not have to improve on his time, but he's trying anyway. Gosh, that's a beautiful fight. Smooth, really smooth. Look at the left. Oh! On his side. Up on his side. Boy, have these people been bit by the track tonight. Oh, yeah, he ended right into it. Oh, and that's where he twisted his knee. You can see where it hit the ground. He twisted his knee. He says it's stock. If it is, it is a great stock truck. Out of Moe. Oh, look at him. Moline, Illinois, I don't care how out of shape he is. Roy gets Fisher. He's going to be on the throttle. That's all Roy knows. Give it to gas. Give it to gas. Looks like he hauls a little hay during the week. Oh, it's up. Oh, look out, look out, look out. Oh, and Roy Fisher took her over on her side. One thing about Roy, one thing that he doesn't know, and that's called let up. He will not let up. He's got it up on its side. There it rolls just a little bit. He almost saves it, Walt. He yep. almost brought it out of that. But Ren went 30. 41, first time. Bud knows he's got to go hard this time. Come on, bud. Oh, oh bud. see you, bud. Bye, bud. He's got the door open, though, and all the body work coming off. Bye, bud. Come on, bud. Bud has had the same problem that had bitten more than one guy tonight, and it's that turn. Bud tries at the last second to turn into it, correct it, but it is too late at that time. It's over. Well, if you're going to do that, though, bud, make sure you got the end car camera. I don't know, that's a pretty good angle right there, Ralph. All runners lead well with the truck. You've got to land with your tires cut to the left on both sides of it. This is the first time we're going to come back. They've got to go back to the respective set of cars before the finish line. And let's take a look. Looks like the equalizer was... Whoa! We got a big problem for the executioner. Watch the left front tire on this red car. He's crossed up a little bit, got the back tire. You see how it hooked inside there and got... When it got into the trunk, it slowed him down a little bit. Then he hit the berm and rolls right over on the side. First race of the year, first time live TV. So we decided, courtesy of Joe Brozovich and 
Brozo's Bronco that we're going to give this Pro Arena truck thing a try. This is going to hurt. Best of luck to you, buddy. There he goes. He's bringing it back in. Uh, well, my buddy's not afraid to stand on the gas too much, is he? I'd say my grandma can jump farther than that. 3388. What do you think about that, Joe? Is that a competitive time tonight? If you don't beat that, there's something wrong here. Well, let's see what I can do. Oh boy, look at him go. He's at 25 seconds. No way. He's 38. Oh, guess what? 30, 30 seconds. Guess what, Papa? He just got beat. Well, there's been a malfunction on the clock, I'm sure. Well, Ralph, a 40 was a 40 second pass wasn't bad. You know, Mike, I, the first thing you always learn as a racer that I've I've gotten from talking to such pros as Joe is to always check the time and never count your friends up on top of the box. You got to go with the official time. And that 30 seconds over there means I beat you by three big ones. Nobody cares, okay? I mean, it's just a game, right? I was letting the kid win.